this is one flanged gate valve this is one flanged ball valve this is one flanged globe valve this is one wafer type check valve and this is one bar weld end piston lift check valve this type of flanged end and bar weld end valves are tested as per ASME B1634 and API 598 and two types of hydro testing is there one is cell test and another is closure test or sheet leakage test API 598 covers hydro testing of gate, globe, check, ball, butterfly and plug valves for all these valves body hydrostatic test and seat leakage test is done but only for gate and globe valve additionally backseat test is done as far pressure temperature rating table of ASME B1634 for valves having body material ASTM A216 grade WCB for 150 pound valve up to 38 degree Celsius temperature, valve is workable up to 19.6 bar, say 20 bar. As per code, body test pressure of valve shall be 1.5 times of cold working pressure, that means 19.6 bar, or say 20 bar gauge, so 30 bar gauge. And seat test pressure is 1.1 times of cold working pressure that is 22 bar gauge now for doing body test pressure we have to provide one blind flange like this this is the blind flange this side and this side is another blind flange like this then bolting is done bolting is done and through this blind flange one half inch or one one inch pipe is connected to the pump through this pump this valve is pressurized and one pressure gauge is there and for cell testing this valve wedge in case of gate valve or valve disc in case of globe valve is kept fully open or partially open so the valve is pressurized whole area inside area of the valve is pressurized all this area of the valve is pressurized then visually we have to see whether any leakage is there through the body or bonnet of the valve there should not be any visual leakage through the valve at test pressure of 30 bar gauge for 150 pound valve this is body testing or valve cell testing now how we do closure test or seat leakage test in case of closure test or seat leakage test valve wedge or valve disc is kept closed and then one blind flange is provided on this side connected to pipeline and pump pressure gauge is there and this side of the valve is pressurized at pressure of 22 bar gauge and whether any leakage is coming on this side it is observed again the blind flange is provided on the other side and this side of the valve is pressurized keeping valve wedge or valve disc closed and from this side we have to see whether any leakage is found from this side or not this table of API 598 covers maximum allowable leakage rate for closure test or seat test. Suppose for 6 inch valve the leakage rate is 12 drops per minute. 12 drops per minute of water. If we get maximum 12 drops per minute of water leakage through wedge or disc of the valve then it is acceptable. So this table covers acceptable leakage limit for closure test or for seat leakage test. This table of API 598 covers 
test duration for cell testing, for backseat testing and for closure test means seat leakage test. Say for 200 NB valve, the cell test duration is 120 second, backseat test duration is 60 second. For check valve, this seat leakage test duration is 120 second and for other valve, seat leakage testing is for 120 seconds. Now coming to backseat test. Backseat test is done for gate valve and globe valve at 1.1 times of cold working pressure. That means for 150 pound valve at 22 bar gauge. Now for backseat testing, similar arrangement is done as like cell testing, this side blind flange, this side blind flange and valve disc or valve wedge is partially or fully opened. Then entire valve is pressurized at pressure of 22 bar gauge. But during this testing, gland flange and gland nuts are kept opened or gland packing is removed from the valve so that we will have to see whether there is any leakage through the gland of the valve. This testing is done to ensure that when the valve is in operation, that means valve is pressurized, then whether we can replace this gland packing or not. Now this is one flanged gate valve. So first we have to keep the valve wedge open fully or partially, then we provide blind flange or blank flange both sides and pressurize from this side so that entire valve body and bonnet pressurized and we have to see whether there is any leakage or not. This is cell testing. In case of seat testing, we have to close the valve fully. Now valve is closed. Valve is closed. Then we have to provide blind flange and pressurize from this side and we have to see whether any leakage is coming on this side and that leakage rate is acceptable or not. And same thing is done from other side, from this side also. This is one flanged ball valve. Now this valve is fully open. So body testing of this valve is done by providing blind flange from both sides and we, we have to see whether any leakage is coming on the body of the valve or not. Then we close the valve like this, ball is now closed, then we pressurize from this side and see whether any seat leakage is there and again we pressurize from this side and we have to see whether any seat leakage is there or not. This is one wafer type check valve. Check valve opens like this. So, for body testing, we have to mount two blind flanges from both sides and we have to pressurize the valve at body test pressure and we have to see whether any leakage is there on the cell of the valve. Since it is check valve and it is like opening like this, so, seat testing is done only from this side. Pressure is applied, seat test pressure from this side and we have to see from this side whether the leakage rate is acceptable or not. This is bar weld end lift check valve. For this type of any bar weld end valve, either lift check valve or gate valve or globe valve, hydro testing of body and seat is done placing the valve on a test bench using sealing material like rubber of or PTFE seat like this and then body and seat testing is done. This is one flanged globe valve. So when we do hydro testing of cell of this valve, we have to open the disc partially or fully. Then Similarly, we do hydro testing of body by providing blind flange on both the side and during hydro testing of the cell, this gland bolts and gland flange will remain tight. 
when we do seed testing we close the valve like this we close the valve like this then we pressurize seed test pressure from this side and see leakage rate on this side again we provide pressure on this side and see leakage from this side whether it is acceptable or not now for backseat testing backseat is there above the bonnet portion inside in this portion backseat is there for backseat testing this valve wedge or valve disc is kept open fully and we provide blind flange on both side of the valve and pressurize the valve body at backseat test pressure then we open the gland bolts and nuts like this so for backseat testing we remove the gland bolt and gland flange and this is the bus and this is the packing this white portion is the packing for backseat testing we can remove the packing or we can lose this gland flange and get gland bolt and we have to see whether any leakage is coming from this packing the purpose of backseat testing is that while the valve is in operation and pressurized we can remove the gland and we can provide new gland packing like this and then we have to tight the gland nut and gland flange so that this bus will face the new packing so so the purpose of backseat testing is that we will be able to replace the gland packing while the valve is under operation that means under pressurized condition so this backseat testing is applicable only for gate valve and globe valve for other valves like ball check butterfly and plug only seal testing and closure testing that means seat leakage testing to be done